As with all computer equipment, the processor and motherboard components can be damaged by electrostatic discharge, ESD. Labels such as these are common indicators that electrostatic sensitive devices are present. It is essential to use ESD precautions such as wrist straps or foot or heel straps when handling any ESD sensitive products. In order for ESD protection to be effective, straps must connect to a common earth ground system. Straps must be worn against the skin and should fit tightly. Straps must be kept clean and in good condition. When handling AMD processors, hold the processor by the edge of the package with two fingers. Do not touch the pins when transporting the processor. Release the socket locking lever by pulling the lever outward slightly, then lifting up. The AMD Athlon 64 processor has a small triangle marking on one corner. Align this corner with the corresponding marker on the motherboard. Place the processor into the socket carefully. Take care not to bend the processor pins. The processor should require little or no downward force to fit properly into the socket. If the processor does not fit easily, carefully adjust the alignment. Do not attempt to force the processor into place. When the processor is correctly seated, hold it in place while lowering the locking lever and latching it into the fully locked position. Do not apply any power to the system until the heat sink is fully installed. If voltage is applied before the heat sink is fully installed, the processor will overheat and failure will result. There are multiple configurations of heat sinks being used for AMD processors. The two most common configurations are shown here, the clip heat sink and the screw type heat sink. Both heat sinks have a thermal interface material pre-applied on the bottom. This material is protected by a clear plastic cover. Visually inspect the thermal interface material and carefully remove the plastic cover. Do not use the heat sink if the thermal material has scratches or gaps. To install the clip heat sink, center it over the retention frame, aligning the heat sink clips with the socket mounting lugs. Carefully place the heat sink on the processor, keeping it centered in the retention frame. Attach the spring clip under the cam handle first. This may require some force. Make sure the second retention clip is aligned with the plastic lug on the retention frame and carefully push straight down on the clip. This may require more force than the first side. Ensure the cam handle is locked into the retention frame. To install the screw type heat sink, center the heat sink over the retention frame, aligning the heat sink clips with the socket mounting lugs. Install the screws into designated holes on each side of the heat sink. Tighten the screws in an alternating fashion to prevent overloading of one side of the heat sink. The heat sink should be torqued to a specification of 6 to 8 inch pounds. After installation of either heat sink, connect its fan power lead to the proper connector on the motherboard. Check the installation completely to make sure the heat sink is installed correctly before starting the system. Power on the system and verify that the processor heat sink fan is turning at a rapid rate. If the fan is spinning at a slow rate or not spinning at all, power down the system immediately to avoid any thermal damage. To remove the clip heat sink, unhook the cam handle latch from the retention frame. Carefully rotate the cam handle back to its fully released position to relieve force on the spring clip. Carefully remove the spring clips in the reverse order in which they were attached. A flat blade screwdriver may be necessary to pry the spring clip off the lug. Be sure to unhook the spring clip under the cam lever last. To remove the screw type heat sink, remove the screws that attach the heat sink to the frame. The thermal interface material on both types of heat sinks acts as a seal between the heat sink and the processor. Before lifting the heat sink, twist it back and forth several times to break the seal. 
Failure to break the seal between the heat sink and processor may result in pulling the processor out of the socket, possibly causing processor or socket damage. Gently lift the heat sink away from the processor while continuing to twist it back and forth. After removing the heat sink, clean the residual thermal grease from its base. With the processor still in its socket, gently clean the top surface of the package lid. Use an upward rolling motion with a wipe to capture as much grease material as possible. Use care during cleaning to prevent grease contamination from spreading to other components. Change to clean wipes frequently to avoid smearing grease over the processor edge. If possible, avoid using wet chemicals such as acetone or alcohol. These chemicals can cause contaminants to flow into the socket area. Look for any remaining grease contamination on the processor edge. Remove this contamination with a cotton bud or the folded edge of a cleaning wipe. After grease contamination removal is completed, proceed with processor removal.